The frigid temps this morning are dangerous for both you and your four-legged loved ones. Brought to you by Pet Pals TV, Darcy Kurtz has some tips on how to keep your pets safe this winter. Pet Pals TV, and now it's my honor and pleasure to introduce you to two very important people talking about dogs outside in winter and what we can do to help. Darcy Kurtz, you are the... I'm the um, founder and executive director of FIDO. Which is? Friends of Indianapolis Dogs Outside. All right. Leanne Hoy, you are? I'm a senior program officer at the Nina Mason Pulliam Charitable Trust. Okay, and we'll tell you how these two work together. Let's start off with FIDO. Winter. Some places worse than others. What do you do to help the dogs outside? Yeah, so our mission is to improve the quality of life of outside dogs here in Indianapolis. Right. And our work becomes especially important during extreme weather. And, you know, with winter coming on, you know, we're, we're having weather, I think, that's going to fall below 20 this week. That's extreme weather. Yeah. So we, we work with um, the um, pet owners, the dog owners, to share information, especially the dog care and treatment ordinances locally, and also resources to help them comply with the ordinances, get their dogs inside the house in extreme weather, keep them warm when they're outside. And sometimes you've run into people who didn't know they should do this or could do this. And Stewie wants to say <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, so you help to educate as exactly. well. Exactly. So, and that's, you know, that's part of, you know, um, this program, getting the word out what the requirements are for dog care in Indianapolis during extreme weather. Okay. And then and then we're here to help people follow those ordinances and um, you know and just keep their dogs happier and healthier during the cold weather. Okay. And someone at, at another city when you're watching and you say, Boy, we need something like this in our place, how do they get a hold of you? So you could maybe tell them help them start an organization like yeah, yours. Yeah, so they can call our helpline. It's three one seven two two one thirteen fourteen and I'd be glad to share information about, you know, how FIDO has mm -hmm. grown and developed over the years. And also they can find you on your Facebook page, FIDO. Right. It's um, um, Indie FIDO. Indie FIDO. Okay. Now, Leanne Hoy helps you folks. <laughs> Tell us about this. Yeah, we, we have really grown over the past five years in terms of just meeting the needs of the community, which are really large. And there is no way we could have grown <laughs> to the extent that we have without the support of um, the Nina Mason Pulliam Charitable Trust. Okay. And tell it is, for someone who may not know or seen some of our other mm -hmm. stories that we did with the Nina Mason Pulliam Trust, what is it that you do? So Mrs. Pulliam was the owner and um, of the Star Newspapers way back when and left her estate to the trust. Uh, while we do 60% of our funding in basic human needs, we also do animals um, and the environment. Mrs. Pulliam was an animal lover, mm -hmm. so we do about anywhere from 15 to 20 percent of our funding goes to that area each year and FIDO has been an organization that we've helped from the start when it was an all-volunteer mm -hmm. organization uh, we had faith in them because they do such great work in the neighborhoods and helping keep the dogs and staying with their owners right. so they don't go into the shelter right. uh, but they do such great work so we have funded them through the years I think in the past since you've started we've probably given close to half a million um, our latest grant is 100000 for operations to do just that, to um, do your three core areas, which are obviously the fencing, community outreach and education that you mentioned, and uh, then spay and neutering as another uh, way to keep um, unwanted animals out of the shelter. So. Stewie says thank you. He's got his paw up here. He says thank you very much. Uh -huh. And so does thank Fido. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't do what we do without the Wonderful. support of the Pulliam Trust. Uh, well, they do all the hard work. So. <laughs> And uh, we just love you guys. <laughs> You're both wonderful. Uh, this is a good example of what you can do in your neighborhood, your city, your town, right? <laughs> okay, Stree says it's time to go, okay? <laughs> it's time to go out in the snow and play. He likes the snow. <laughs> we'll be back with more on Pet Pals TV. And that was Patty Spittler, of course. You can watch Pet Pals TV every Saturday at 1030 right here on Wish TV. You can also go to PetPalsTV.com. And, of course, watch Great Day TV before all of that at 10 o'clock.